2024 will mark the year that you're never in any financial struggles, okay? Sometimes it's not about what you know, it's just about Andrew Carnegie said the majority of the people that will become millionaires will become millionaires through real estate. But if he was alive today, I would tell him that has changed. It is through digital assets now. So what is this? This is my anti-job visual flywheel. And what book is this? This is my billionaire. OK, I'm showing you the wrong side. This is my billion dollar flywheel for anti-job university. So we're going to break down a few things in this plan. That way, 2024 will mark the year that you're never in any financial struggles. OK, sometimes it's not about what you know, it's just about how you go about doing it. Sometimes we're just like unorganized. A lot of you guys, if you've been watching videos for years about marketing and advertising, if you've had any business model, all of them work. But you just have never had it outlined in a way that will actually be consistent and take you into another level. OK, so now who does not work for this will not work for people who don't have assets. As you can see on mines, I have assets. OK, one, two, three. So we have the anti-job university. We have the, uh, the profit positioning agency and we have the anti-job affiliate army. OK, I'm going to show you guys a couple of those today. Uh, that way you can kind of like mirror what I'm doing. But in your niche, in your field, whatever skills you have, how can you mirror it? But you need an asset. Hold on one second. Let me switch this out. OK, so boom. Now we got that. All right. So I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see one of my assets real quick. And you will know because my plan, it is not a, a millionaire plan. My plan, well, is a millionaire plan, but it is for uh, uh I'll say 10 million. OK, so what happened to me? All right. During the scamdemic, let me be transparent with you guys. All right. During the scamdemic of 2020, Google took like whatever their little update was took because like, you guys know if you've been on following my channel forever or whatever, I'm an SEO master. And usually I can avoid any little penalty or update because I do a lot of things natural. But for this time, I knew that owning assets if you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no asset. As you can see, in the past couple of months, I've changed that to if you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't control no assets. <laughs> Why? Because owning assets, sometimes they can be taken. OK, now Google took 80 percent. OK, like like 80 something percent of my listings, my rankings that were generating income. Just imagine that I had like hundreds or maybe even a few thousand of ranking snack packs, like ranking, you know, Google My Business listings for paper call offers, clients, uh, affiliate offers, uh, lead generation, all of that. So when the 80 percent of those assets were destroyed by Google, where do you think that income went? It just evaporated. But I had a few assets left that <laughs> light at the end of the tunnel and some partnerships. So assets and partnerships, a.k.a. people can always save you in the end of the day. So I have affiliates. Right. And if you don't have an affiliate network, I don't know what made me put that at the end of this flywheel. I wasn't thinking straight, I guess, when I mapped this out. I'd be tired a lot. You guys know I do a lot of work. But <laughs> the, the affiliate army should be first. Why? Why do you want an affiliate army? Why do you guys watching this right now want to book a ninety seven dollar coaching session with me so I can show you how to build your own affiliate network similar to this? Well, Max Bounty pulled in over $150 million last year with their affiliate network. ClickBank did around a billy boy. There's a billion for those of you who do not know. You understand what I'm saying? And they don't, they themselves, the owners of those platforms do not have to do marketing and advertising except for to re recruit more affiliates, right? So when you do advertising and outreach, outbound outreach, you want to reach out for partners, not clients, not customers, partners. Why? Because once you get those affiliates inside your network, whether it's 10, 20, 50, 200 affiliates, it doesn't have to be thousands. A lot of you guys haven't took action because you see me talk about Max Bounty or ClickBank and think you need thousands or whatever, but I'm going to log in. Uh, pause to uh, my affiliate network and show you guys. I don't have hundreds of thousands or even like at first I did, but now I don't even have thousands of affiliates anymore. But I do have a few hundred. Right. And even if you had one super affiliate that know how to drive traffic very well, that's better than just you driving traffic. So if you got clients out there that pay you, uh, um, you know, a certain amount of money per month or something like that. Imagine having your own platform. You can charge them if you want to. You can let them in free, pause. But you can charge them five, ten thousand dollars to be let inside this uh, this network right here, your network. All right. So these are where the offers go right here. As you can see, we have some offers. You can even put your own offers in there if you don't want to do advertising yourself. I don't even run my own ads anymore. 
No more Facebook ads unless I'm testing to put it in there. Because in my affiliate network, I like to provide my affiliates with working campaigns and stuff like that. But other than that, I don't have to ever do advertising again. What if you can make that promise to local businesses, entrepreneurs, course creators, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to run your ads ever again. You don't have to uh, do, do any of that stuff. We're going to place you inside our affiliate network full of affiliates that are going to spend our own time, effort, money, uh, ad budgets, know-how skills, social media content, all of that extra stuff to bring you sales at no risk. No ROI other than what you signed up with because you're not paying anything monthly. You understand what I'm saying? So that's crazy, right? So how do we get these affiliates to do this? To spend their own time, uh, money, effort, post about, make videos about, and create entire channels about our affiliate network and all of that stuff. That's what we're going to go over on the coaching session in the first pin comment. All right. But anyway, guys, our flywheel is this. I got to flip this around. I got to do this over. And as you can see, it got the little cycle situation because you want to first position yourself to leverage others to profit with cycle. But we'll talk about that some other time. But anyway, the affiliate army, which is what you're looking at right here. Let me show you the affiliates just so you don't think I'm making up some stuff. All affiliates tab right there. OK, so we have affiliates. We have pages of affiliate page two, page three, so on, and so forth. So, all right. These people sign up willingly. OK, <laughs> but anyway, so we want to build up. And I never thought of this before. This is why I says organization. Lack of organization is what slows most entrepreneurs down. You already have the know how you already have skills, but you hear people you hear foolish people tell you that the average millionaire has seven income streams. And when you see when you hear the seven number, like they don't really even go deep into what they're talking about. When you hear the seven number, uh, first of all, I don't want to be an average freaking millionaire. I want to be unique. God created me to not be mediocre. I'm supposed to be a beacon. Right. So but they say the seven, the, the average millionaire has seven different income streams. And when you hear that, you think seven different business models or seven different niches. But that's not the case. Right. Why listen to millionaires when you can pay attention to billionaires? Is it because you don't believe that you can be one? Well, Jeff Bezos started with Amazon. You know him for Amazon, but now he has a crazy amount of income streams. But he built up those income streams. They're extensions of the mother uh, ship, Amazon. So it's like, you know, Elon Musk and Alibaba and all of these dudes, right? Like the billionaires, they have an asset and they build multiple income streams off of that one asset. For example, you can start with a book. That book becomes a course. The course becomes a coaching session. The coaching session becomes uh, 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 some type of seminar or a meetup. The meetup becomes a mastermind. You understand what I'm saying? Like, though, that's five income streams. And then you can just add to that uh, freaking audio books, uh, you know, all, all of that type of stuff. Right. But that's all from the same freaking business. So don't be all over the place. We need organization. So I eliminated everything else I was doing. And now I'm just focusing on anti job so we can reach Billy Boy status. All right. So. The goal is to jump back, recover from what happened during the scandemic. Right. Uh, <laughs> right. And now I'm going to control more assets than I own. So but these are my main assets right here that I actually own. But I'm acquiring more assets through partners that if they were to fall, it wouldn't take me down with them. So I'm trying to show you guys how to have your businesses feed each other. So when affiliates come into uh, uh, the affiliate army, guess what? They want to ramp up their marketing skills as well. So I can advertise to these or I can uh, send, you know, follow up emails to my affiliates that want to ramp up their marketing skills and show them the, the courses for marketing inside the anti-job university. And for those university students that start businesses, they're going to need marketing and advertisement, which feeds them to the profit position and agency and so on and so forth. That's why it's called a flywheel, because each part of the business, uh, uh, each, each of the assets will feed the customer into the other asset. That's perfect, right? Okay, so you guys need to start with an asset. What type of asset do you have right now? If you don't own no assets or control no assets, it's probably because you ain't got no cash yet. Uh, that's probably why you ain't got no cash yet, okay? So I want you guys to actually make 2024 like, like killer. So we, we don't just stop there. On our sessions and everything, I'm going to show you like something called integration marketing. So we're going to find integration points and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you how to plug into other people's assets, pause, plug into other people's assets and, and, and jack traffic, like, like jack traffic streams and make them your own uh, through partnerships and everything like that, guys. So 
This is the millionaire plan. OK, if you if you want to become a millionaire, it doesn't matter how much money you have. Right. You book the coaching session below for ninety seven bucks. Right. There's just ninety seven bucks. We're going to get on there. I'm going to uh, give you, uh, uh, you know, some suggestions on which assets you can start with. We have, uh, uh, you know, the affiliate networks. Right. You have things like it can even be a booking calendar. You can have your own booking calendar. You can have an app. You can have a directory, whatever it is, something of value, a magnetized asset. Like I said, not just an asset, a magnetized asset to where when you sit it somewhere like it attracts people to it. People are attracted to affiliate networks. Why? Because it feeds multiple sides, multiple parties, three parties. Me, the owner of the ad, uh, the platform, it feeds the business owner because they don't have to advertise a market anymore once they're placed inside the network. And it feeds the affiliate because they don't have to go through the struggles of figuring out how to start a business, which business model works and all of that extra stuff. Right. So it feeds three parties. It's the perfect freaking asset, to tell you the truth. Um, but anyway, like, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Right. Like, how do you feel? OK. So what are you going to do? There are three start, three parts. OK, you're like, OK, well, all right. I know I need an asset, but you haven't gave me the million dollar plan, the millionaire plan. Right. OK. Once I have my 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 asset, what do I do, David? OK, well, three steps. Position yourself. Step two to leverage others. Step three to profit recycle. You guys see me doing a lot of interviews. You guys see me talk to you about creating irresistible offers and everything like that. What I'm doing when I create the irresistible offer, what I'm doing when I start ranking and creating all of this content and stuff, that is me positioning myself as an authority figure. When you see me name, oh, Max Bounty, because I have another channel for anti-job affiliate army, right? When you say, when you see me create a video, saying Max Bounty is going down, you know, uh, and losing to anti-job affiliate army, that brand jacking is allowing me to allowing me to position myself to siphon authority and credibility just through that title from Max Bounty itself. After creating so much content similar to that, whenever someone thinks of Max Bounty or ClickBank, they'll automatically think of anti-job affiliate army. Now, the leverage part. Now, that's where I start, uh, you know, jacking other people's email lists, uh, getting interviewed in front of their audiences so that their audience becomes my audience and things like that. These are the things that you want to do as well. And then what is the third step? Profit recycling. Profit recycling means you take whatever you earned that was like full profit from those first two steps, the positioning and the leveraging, and you throw it back into the beginning of it with the positioning. So now you'll be able to do more SEO. Now you'll be able to do more positioning with the step one. Then now you'll have a little bit of profit for step Step two, which is leveraging others. Maybe you can pay to be on bigger platforms, pay for bigger interviews. All right. Maybe pay a little bit for some type of ads, maybe if you want to. And then the cycle just goes on and on and on when you get to three. So that is the millionaire plan for 2024. You guys can do this. Everybody can do this. Right. Go ahead and get the guidance. You want to go to uh, three. Uh, I mean, go to the first pin comment and you book a coaching session for the holidays. It is only ninety seven bucks. You guys know I usually charge in the thousands to get on a call with me. But this is going to be our uh, like most profitable hour you can think of for those of you who are implementers. Like if that's a word, like if you're going to implement, like don't just get on there to talk to me. I'm not a freaking celebrity, but <laughs> you hear me like get on there, take like a detailed outline structured plan for you to do with your asset, monetize it and, and stop having to deal with money issues or whatever. Just going through what I'm going to show you. All right. So we proved it. We've done this, been around since 2015, still alive, still kicking, even after the scandemic, all of that. I want to bless you guys with that. Right. If you ain't got no cash, it's probably because you don't own or control no assets. Right. All right. And the Bible says, like, pay attention right here. It says before you take action, seek wise counsel. What does that mean? A lot of you guys were taught to just get up and go millionaire routine, all of this extra stuff. You just, OK, I'm going to go and get some clients and you don't have some like real good plan from a guide. Right. And you'll just be prospecting and doing blast email blasts all day and maybe one or two, if that will respond back to you. And that's your results. And you just feast the famine. If you had a direct structured plan to get awesome results and asset that other people are attracted to uh, that does most of the work and convincing for you, then you'll be good. So, boom. What do you guys think? Let me know. I will see those of you who are wise on the coaching session uh, a little bit later.